Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon, and I'm excited that you're here with me today, you guys, because I have another new discoveries. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm super excited to share. I have some skincare to share with you guys, some tools, some masks, so if you're interested in seeing some fun new stuff, then just stick around. Okay, I wanna start with the skincare. I found this brand called Nooni. And this is their Snowflake Jelly. It's a Snowflake Jelly Cleansing Oil. I really like this as a first cleanse. It's very much like a balmy jelly oil texture. You do not need a lot and it absolutely just dissolves all of that makeup, sunscreen, all of that kind of stuff. I use this as a first cleanse. The way that I found this is that I found their Marshmallow Whip Maker. Now this is really the new discovery, you guys. This little gadget is six bucks and it's just a plunger that is ventilated. And then you put a little bit of water in here. You put a little cleanser on here or in there, however you wanna do it. And then you make your own whipped foam cleanser. I think that that is so ingenious. You guys know if you've watched me for any length of time that I love those foaming pump cleansers as a second cleanse. Just a quick disclaimer, as a dry skin person, as a dehydrated skin person, I can't use those uh, alone. Not that I never have or never do, I do in a pinch, but really I like them as a second cleanse. When I use them all by themselves with no first cleanse, no oil before them, they're a little bit drying for me too, as is a lot of foaming cleansers. However, as a second cleanse, I really like it. I feel like it balances the whole situation and I'm not left tight or dry if I'm using the right cleanser. This is so cool because I can use whatever cleanser I want that foams in this and create my own foam. So I can use it with my Elastin cleanser, I can use it with my Obagi cleanser, you can use it with whatever foaming cleanser you want and you can get that nice gentle foam because when you mix it with water, you dilute it. So you're not putting that straight cleanser, that straight detergent, if you will, onto your skin. You're just making it a lot more gentle by foaming it up. I keep this in my bathroom by my sink and I use it all the time. It literally takes like 15 seconds to whip up some cleanser and then it feels so glorious on your skin. It feels so gentle and velvet. It's really cool for six bucks. I have to say, because it's from the same brand, but the Nuni, this is their Snowflake Whipping Cleanser. I got this because I got all of this from that brand and it definitely is too dry for my skin, even whipped into a foam. So I'm gonna pass this on to someone, it's beautiful. I'm gonna pass this on to someone with like normal to oily skin, that kind of thing. I think they would really enjoy this, but it doesn't matter because I can use any cleanser that I want. I can use any cleanser that I like that I don't find to be too harsh with this and make it into that whipped foam. So that is pretty cool. Okay, I wanna move on to a couple of tools. They're kind of tools. And these are from Real Techniques. And I don't know if you guys have seen, it's been on Instagram, but this is a new sponge from Real Techniques. I just used it, you guys. You'll hopefully be able to see in the demo. Now this one is like flocked and very velvety and it's made to be used damp or dry and it's made to be used with powder. And you're supposed to be able to put the powder on and it doesn't ruin your like pressed powder, that kind of thing. Now, I wanna tell you that I did use this damp, and for me, when I used it over my makeup, because I would use the powder just, you know, as a last step, I did find that it kind of picked up the makeup that was on my face and moved it a little bit and then put down powder. So this was kind of a new discovery fail, but I will tell you, I haven't used this dry and maybe on like bare skin, if you're somebody who really likes powder but you're not gonna put it on over other makeup, I rarely use powder all by itself. This might be okay, but let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this. I still wanted to tell you about it because I think that it could be a really great tool. If you are a powder you know, only wearer, this could be really great. And I'd be curious to hear if anybody has any tips or tricks on how to use this better. What I found when I went looking for this, because I went specifically looking for this, was this little guy by Real Techniques. This is meant, it's also, I just used it today, to be used with your cushions. So it is a essentially a cushion compact sponge like this, 
Only, I don't know about you guys, but the reason why this is awful is these never feel right. They don't, they don't, they're difficult to use. You, I don't know. I don't know. Am I alone? Is anybody else like that? These little guys are just, it's not that the sponge is bad. It's that the application just isn't great. This changes all of that. And it's a little more cushiony. And you guys, I tested this, which hopefully you'll be seeing split screen. I tested this with like three or four different kinds of cushions and with cream to powder, cream foundations, and it was excellent with every single one. It left poreless. I mean, the way that this sponge is, the material, it's the same as the cushion compact material. It's the same as this, which you know that this is something different. It's not like a beauty blender and it's not like, you know, a sponge sponge. It's different. That's what this is. It is excellent. This is the coolest little tweak of this ever. So if you are somebody who kind of likes the application of this, like how it can, you know, get rid of pores and it really does, it can make you look really seamless. It's just not easy to use. Try this, you guys. It's not expensive and it worked with every single version of a cushion that I tried and I loved it and I really loved the application of my makeup. I used it dry, which means that it will go, you know, in a purse and a makeup bag. You don't have to worry about it being damp later and you can touch up your makeup with it because it's just ready to go. This was super cool. This was really, really cool. Okay, so next up is going to be some masks I wanna share with you guys. I have been researching a ton um, treatments and procedures and all kinds of stuff for the neck and the decollete. And in that kind of search, I came across neck masks and they're sheet masks and also decollete masks. And that just intrigued me. I'm sure that a lot of you already know about these. I mean, there's obviously ones that are for your face and then down your neck. These are specifically just for your neck and just for your decollete. And I have two that I really like. I've tested a bunch of them. The first one is by this brand called De Leon. And these are called Renewal and Hydration Refreshing Anti-Aging Masks. So in these masks, there's aloe and there's cucumber, there is glycerin, hyaluronic acid, collagen, niacinamide. I mean, it is just full of really great ingredients. Now you put it on just right across your neck and you wanna leave it on for 15 or 20 minutes, that kind of thing. I loved it, I absolutely loved it. I will only say that it's not the kind of mask you put on and you can like walk around and clean house or do anything like that. It will start to kind of like roll off. It's so gently placed on your neck. It definitely adheres, but in a super gentle way, you don't have to peel it off your neck, which I really like. I'm, I'm glad that it isn't like suctioned to your neck, but that said, it's something that you kind of have to like kick back and let it just do its job. So I'm digging this very, very much. Now there's three masks to a box. This will be a repurchase for me for sure. The other one is this one that's called Show Your Decollete. This mask was five or six dollars. It's argan and hibiscus. And this one's a little bit different because it actually fits across your decollete and down between into your chest area. And it, it will stay on your chest. If you walk around, you can definitely do that. I used it at the same time as that neck mask. So I ended up kicking back after a little bit and just letting them do their job. This also left my decollete just looking so hydrated and just a better version of itself. I think what I'll do is I'll get a bunch of these and I'll just use them maybe like once a week, that kind of thing. I think that that's the way that these masks are gonna be the best is you know like a treat, a, a Saturday treat kind of thing. But if you have ever masked your neck with any kind of sheet mask or your decollete and you have a favorite, leave it in the comment section. I'm so into this right now. I feel like, and I'm sure that there are some of you like this, the neck and the decollete were an afterthought for many years of my skincare junkie life. And then I entered my 40s and all of a sudden I was like, whoa, my neck, my decollete, <laughs> let's start really taking care of it. And that's where I am now. So anything that I find, I wanna share with you guys. And I do, I really think that those are an excellent way to give, you know, just kind of a huge rush of hydration and good stuff to that area and you know kind of treat yourself maybe weekly okay so next up is another mask now this is different you guys and this is going to look ridiculous but it is a cool or warm mask now a long time ago i showed my ice roller 
I love that. I love that little gadget. It's like $12. I think it's fantastic for when I feel puffy. And I am one of those people I carry all of my weight, my puffiness, edema, everything in my face. And so I love being able to cool it off to just kind of, you know, soothe with some cooling or heat. When I put a towel on a client, I just know. I know that it's like you can feel like Oh, well, you can warm this up and you can put it on. And this side is like velvet. This side is the beads that are either hot or cold. Now I have kept this in the freezer and then you can put it on. I know it looks ridiculous, you guys, but at least it's pink. <laughs> you can put it on and it just gently cools your face. I love that. But what I also love is that you can warm it up and because it's this velvet side, you can just put it on and it's like that soothing hot towel in a facial. It's just really, this is really, really cool. It has the Velcro straps in the back so that you can actually, you know, so it stays on and then you just wanna kick back and relax. Okay guys, so those are all of my new discoveries. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you will join me for the Friday q and I'm gonna be answering your questions again on Friday at three. So if you have any questions you wanna try and get in before then, then just leave them in the comment section. I'm keeping a running list of questions and hopefully I will get to your question some Friday. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on Friday.